If you were just moving into the country and you had a couple acres to start a farm that you were trying to make a living off of, what might be the three top crops that you might try growing that could make a good return for both your time and your money and might be able to take care of you and your family financially? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. Now you know that on our channel, typically we are talking about how to grow your own food, store food, and these kinds of things. And we're also talking about health and nutrition. Today I'm at the Eden Valley Institute of Wellness and we're going to talk to the head farmer here who has done a phenomenal job with the farm here and he is going to tell us what he thinks if he just had two acres what three crops might he start with the top three so he could make a good living to begin with on a new homestead. So let's hear what Adner has to say. Number one in this area at least and many areas actually uh, strawberries it's a uh, big seller it sells well it is easy an easy crop to keep up with and it doesn't have a lot of uh, work in terms of um, comparison with like tomatoes or other crops the one num the first crop can vary depending on where you are um, so just something to have in mind but here and in most here in Colorado and in most areas here in America uh, strawberries will be the number one that I would go for. One of the things is the strawberries, um, you can have a variety, for example, that is, that is called um, a varietal, meaning a, a type of strawberries that are called June bearing. And what it means is that all the strawberries that they will ever produce that year will come all at once. So that will give you at least a month of busy work. And then after that, you're done, meaning in terms of harvesting. After that, you just have to make sure that you are watering, they're, they've been watered, and as well that, that all the runners and, and meaning these little plants that go off the strawberries are actually getting cut. So that way your plants will be robust, uh, robust for the next year. So for a family, for example, I grew up in the country and for a family, a, a strawberry crop like this will be fairly easy because it, with two, three hours every morning, you can keep up with all the work that there is if you do it with this method. That is with a weed mat and you cover all the weeds and you just poke holes where your plants will be so you don't have a lot of weeding to do and you just have to make sure that you're, it's been watered, it's been fertilized and as well that you're keeping up with the runners that comes off the, off the plants. How much land do you have planted in strawberries right now? So right now we have about a quarter of an acre planted with strawberries. That is uh, 6,000 plants we have here right now and uh, we're harvesting about 150 to 200 pints of strawberries a week so um, that's that's a lot but at the same time this is enough for a family uh, in a in a homestead in the country to to have a good income how, how much money would it cost to do about this much to put it in with the covering and everything with the uh, wheat mat and as well the the plants and the fertilizer and the drip system all of it you will spend about uh, three thousand dollars so this is how much it will cost to to do all this so the reason I don't recommend tomatoes for example in a greenhouse for number one crop because first of all you need a greenhouse and those are expensive and second of all tomatoes growing tomatoes in greenhouses is a very complex crop that it takes a long time and several years for you to actually learn it and dial it in and even after you learn you know it and you learn all these tricks and techniques it's a high risk crop, meaning uh, disease can come or something and, and it can kill your crop. Unlike strawberries, strawberries, yes, some disease can attack, attack it or animals, but the, the chances of you having fungus, fun, fungus or other things, it's, it's, it's less, a lot less in, in strawberries. So it's, it's a very easy, easy going crop to, to do for, for a family. If I would have a farm, strawberries that's my number one crop what do you estimate you could potentially make uh, this this year in uh, on this patch of strawberries so the on, on this patch we will we would uh we are we are estimated and we're on track to make about 30 to forty thousand dollars and on, on uh how, how much land was it again uh, on a quarter of an acre okay our next crop to 
that I would consider planting after strawberries is actually there's two of them. The first one will be garlic. Uh, garlic is something that it's very easy for several reasons. One of what, the first reason is that you plant them in the fall. Winter winter comes. You don't. There's no weeding to do. Everything is frozen, and in the spring, you just simply make sure the garlic is is weeded, and then midsummer you're harvesting garlic. And the second reason as well, one of the second reasons that I like garlic is because you have about four to six months, depends on the variety of garlic that you plant to sell it uh, or to do something with it. Um, and it gives you time to find the right buyers or to find the right farmer's market. So you don't, you don't, you're not on a, on a pinch, you're not on a hurry. Like for example, tomatoes or strawberries, they need to be sold fast but garlic is that's not the case the third crop for growing as a homestead or having just having your own farm for profit will be asparagus asparagus is one of those crops that you can actually grow uh, fairly easy you plant them and then it takes three years for the crop to be established but after that it's easy you just have to make sure it's it's weeded between the rows so just with a push mower and six weeks in the spring you are harvesting asparagus for six weeks after that you let the asparagus grow like this ones and you just make sure they're water throughout the summer and then that's that's it there's there's hardly any maintenance for asparagus there are two key elements to consider when looking for crops to grow in your area and one of them is easy to grow and it brings profit. Garlic and asparagus are some of those. They're very easy to grow. They, they take work, but at different times of the year. Asparagus is in the spring, garlic is midsummer, and of course the strawberries, it's more like throughout, throughout the year. So that's one of the things that um, these crops provide, and that's why I would choose those uh, those crops as the main crops. The reason at Eden Valley we do this, these main crops is because these are the crops that bring income. Now there are some crops like broccoli, cauliflower, cilantro, um, other, other crops like that that are neat and, and nice to grow and they taste great but they're not going to provide an income for you uh, for example, just for you to make $10,000 worth of cilantro, you have to sell at least 10 to 15,000 bundles of cilantro. But for you to make $10,000 worth of strawberries, that's, that's fairly easy. So that's why choosing these crops is the best because that way, uh, in the long run, you're not frustrated with farming and as well, you just, you're just enjoying the farming because you can actually afford it and it's giving you a return. So make sure you're focusing those key crops and then you can go into the details, into the feelers, that's how we call them, and, um, and then your farm will be, your farm experience will be successful. Obviously, like Edner stated, things like tomatoes can be a phenomenal way to go, but you typically need to have a, a good greenhouse set up in many localities, not everywhere, but in many locations, especially in the north, you really want a, a good quality greenhouse. But these are three crops that a family with maybe not a lot of knowledge, uh, maybe not a lot of money could go right into and start their own farm and be able to hopefully quite rapidly be able to make an income. Now, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. God bless and have a fantastic day.